Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here checking in with... Tundes! We're here with Tuan Chan and today we're testing out our new camera. This yeah. is the... DJI Osmo Pocket 2. Pocket 2. Yeah. So we're filming this intro on our DJI Osmo Pocket 1. That's the original edition. And everything in the intro that you saw was filmed with this new camera. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. This was originally released a few months ago with the black version, but this is a new edition here. This is the, I believe, Sunset White edition. So it's the same camera. Everything is the same. The hardware, the software is the same. It's just got this nice white finish on here. And this camera is a beast. So today we're gonna go out and do some tests with it, especially some cycling tests. So this is our folding bike Royale, and we've also got our Mama Cherry. So we're gonna be doing some tests on the bike while cycling. So how does this camera perform for walking? How does this camera perform for biking? I'll leave some timestamps down below in case you wanna see a specific part of our test, but we're gonna be doing a bunch of different tests today with this camera. So this is the full extension of the camera. We've got the do everything handle here. So this allows the camera to have extra Wi-Fi capabilities and it also has a nice audio jack so we can plug in a microphone and get separate audio for that. We're waiting to get a new case so we can plug in our microphone properly, so we're not gonna do any tests with that, but we will also do some tests of the native audio. Another test we're gonna be doing today is testing out this with the neck mount while cycling. So I saw some reviews for people doing this online and it looked really interesting, so I wanted to give it a try. <laughs> Tuing is doing the cycling pose right there, so we're gonna give this mount a try as well. This is basically a standard neck mount attached to a hook mount here and attached to the case for the Osmo Pocket. So we're really excited to test this out on the bicycle and do some bike testing. But first, let's switch the camera to the Pocket 2 and let's see if you notice any difference. Okay, here we are. We switched to the Osmo Pocket 2. So how do the colors look? Is it any different? The field of view should be a little bit wider. I believe the, the lens on here is a bit wider and you can see this is our original Pocket 1. So it's the same size for the main base but you can extend it more with the extension rounds on the bottom with the Pocket 2, and you can't do that with the Pocket 1. So this is one of our favorite cameras for a while. Tung used this on her walking videos a lot. So yeah. first we wanna test out the walking with this camera and see how it performs. Okay, so let's do a quick walking test with the camera. We're in the shade section right now, and I'm just walking normally. So I believe the stabilization for this should be a little bit better than the original Pocket. Last time it had a little bit of a bounce, but I think with the wider lens, it should be less bouncy. So I'm just walking normally right now, not really doing anything special with my walk. And let's turn around here. So we're gonna slowly pan and let's check out some of the bike parking here. So I'm also in the first person view. So this just follows me exactly where I'm pointing. This does have a horizon leveling kind of lock system which I'll be doing when we do the cycle mode. Everything in today's video is filmed in 4K, 60 frames per second. So we're filming with the sun in the opposite direction. Normally this just blows everything out, but I think with the larger sensor on this camera, it should perform a little bit better. Let's test it out. And I'm really excited to test this out for some night walking. So that's our walking test. But we came here for the bike test. We want to test this out on the bicycle, so let's go ahead and get started with our ride. Let's go. Let's go. So there's different cases that you can get to adapt the Osmo Pocket. I've just got this one. This is from Uzani. I bought this off of Amazon pretty cheap. And we just bought a new expensive case. We're waiting for it to come in the mail. I'm really excited for that one to come. But in the meantime, we're going to be using this. It just locks on like that. And then this just pops on the neck mount. And there we go. <laughs> so this looks pretty ridiculous, especially from the side view like this, but we should be able to have full control of the bicycle. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this test. Okay, here we are on the Pocket 2 on the neck mount, ready to go. We'll have Tuan Chan lead the way first. So let me know what you guys think of this footage. How does it compare to the GoPro on the chest mount? So we do have some nasty bumps on some of the sidewalks here in Japan. So let's get on some smooth pavement over here. 
we'll cycle along the river path. And the other thing I'm really excited about with this camera is just the extra dynamic range, its ability to focus. So when there's an object nearby, it really will focus well on it and fade some of the surrounding parts a little bit more. With the GoPro, just everything's in focus. And sometimes that's really nice, but sometimes it doesn't look that great. Especially when we're in shadows like this, the GoPro does really bad. So I'm pretty excited to see how this turns out. And especially on my wife's channel, she does a lot of walking tour videos, but we want to start doing some more bicycle touring videos. And I think maybe this kind of video will be pretty nice. Check out that car. So we're going at a pretty slow pace right now. Nice and comfortable. We'll try picking up the speed a little bit later. I forgot to mention, Tung is in her banana shirt. We got a pair of these when we were in Vietnam. It's the typical tourist shirt. And I'll try leading the way a little bit, just so you can get a sense of how the camera works without the bicycle in front. So I think this should work as well on like a road bike situation as well, as long as there's not too many bumps. This would be impossible, I feel, on a mountain bike because just the amount of bumps that you have to deal with is not that great. But on a road bike, on a smooth pavement, and a city bike like we're on now with an upright position, I have some pretty high expectations for this. Uh, we are just shooting in auto mode in the natural colors for the most part, 4K 60 frames per second. We'll experiment with some pro settings later on with some more videos. But for the most part with the cycling videos, I find that auto works the best just because you're going in so many different situations, sometimes light, sometimes dark, and we don't have any ND filters or anything like that. So let's cross here. How's the camera? Is it turning well with us? Let's go on some rough sections. So we've got some bumps here. This does have the built-in gimbal, so it should handle this pretty decently. But it is on my neck, which is a little bit more sensitive, I think, than the, the chest mount. Let's go over this way. We've got a cool temple we can show you guys. Let's go through here, through the gate. Oh, yeah, really bumpy here. Okay, bikes are parked. <laughs> We've got our tiny little lock today. That's okay, we're not gonna stay here too long and we're actually right next to a police station, so I think we should be pretty safe right here. Let's do a quick little walking tour here of this little shrine. So that's one of the great things about Japan is we have lots of beautiful shrines and beautiful places to walk around. So I'm really liking this wider lens on here, we get a lot more detail. The first Osmo Pocket was just really narrow, really good quality, but a little too narrow, I think. So the cool thing about this camera in particular is we're able to focus on different things. So we've got a cool dragon here. Let's try focusing on him. And we should get some really good detail. We're starting to get the cicada bugs. You can hear them in the background, I think. And it's really nice just having this built-in gimbal on this tiny little camera. Recently, we've been doing a lot of filming with Tunshan's iPhone and the gimbal for that, but it's a pretty big setup. Not so bad, but this is way smaller. Just really easy, fits in our pocket. So we're really excited. We're finally able to buy this camera. We saw the deal for the white camera 
and we thought it was a really good deal, so we were glad to pick it up. The cameras are a lot more expensive in Japan compared to the US. It's an extra like $100 for this for us, but uh, thanks to our awesome supporters on Patreon who help support our channel, we're able to buy some more equipment for this to make better videos for you guys. So thank you guys so much for your support. Toonchan will be using this camera a lot on her walking channel. So how's the walking performance going? Okay, last set of stairs. Here we go. Very cool. I especially love these guardian style dogs that they have on the sides here. This is my dream. One day when I have my own house, I want to have these on both sides of my driveway. Tuang found a dragon friend. <laughs> uh, let's get really close. So how well does this camera focus when we get real close up in there? <laughs> he needs to brush his teeth. <laughs> All right, we're back on the neck mount. Cycling test number two. Let's test out the city ride performance. Let's try and get to some smooth pavement away from these bumps. Here we are, riding into the sunlight test. It's evening here in Japan. We're getting ready for the sunset. We gotta watch out for cars dashing out of the road like that. Okay, here we go. We got a pretty nice sidewalk here. Nice wide section. Nobody out today. The other cool thing about this setup is actually I can look down and I can see the preview screen while riding. It is a little bit dangerous, so I don't want to look at it too much. Just once in a while to check and make sure everything's in good position. I get an active view of what the camera is pointing at. The one thing I really like about GoPro cameras in comparison to this is the, the GoPro cameras always film what they're intended to film. Like you don't have to worry if something's in focus. If you know the direction you're pointing the GoPro, you know it's filming in that direction. You shouldn't have any issues. But with this camera, it has a gimbal. It's a little bit sensitive. If you accidentally have object tracking on, it might move around and try and track that object. So it's always been a little bit sensitive for me to film these kind of cycling videos. But uh, okay, let's just stop suddenly. <laughs> That's the other reason you should always film while riding a bike. You never know when an accident's gonna happen. 
Um, but you do have to be really careful when filming with this camera while cycling. It's not really intended for this, but I think the results can be really good if you're careful about how you do it. So we're riding really carefully today. Nice and slow. And I'm pretty excited to see how this footage will turn out. Okay, light is ready. Let's bump and turn. We've got a nice cycling lane here. Oh man, check out all these cars stuck in traffic. Don't they wish they were on a bike in the bike lane right now? So we're still riding at pretty normal pace for a momentary bike anyway. We'll have to do another test with the road bike if this setup works. Let's go by here. There's another police station and bike parking. And now we're gonna ride through some nice neighborhoods with some smooth roads. This should be a good place to test out the, the camera quality for these cycling tours. So if you want to see more ride tour videos like this with this setup, let us know. Give a comment down below. And it is really windy out. Oh, we didn't do a, a test of the native audio, so we might as well do that now while it's really windy. So this is a sample of the default audio from the Osmo Pocket 2. This is without any microphones and it's really, really windy right now, but I think the microphone on this camera is really good. But if we compare back to, this is my separate lav microphone with the wind guard, it's, it's not even going to be a comparison, I think, but still, it's pretty usable. If you forget your microphone, you can still use the default audio and I think it'll do a pretty good job especially if it's less windy. Today's just really windy. You can see all the trees. So this green lane, this is actually a commuting lane. The cars are supposed to be pretty careful around here for students and so on. Okay. He's letting us go, thankfully. Even though some of these roads are really narrow and small and it's like a residential neighborhood, there are some cars that like to speed around here. And I am able to twist the camera a little bit, so I'm twisting my neck and shoulders so I can point the camera in this direction. I get full control without using my hands. That's pretty awesome. And I can just ride again straight again here. Check out this green apartment building. So actually I used to live over in this area for my first three years here in Japan. I lived in my school or university dorm right around this area. All right and here we are one last test on the main road. We've got some busier sounds, some busier noise. We've got a gas still restaurant. Uh, this is where Tunchan used to work, actually. This section, though, really bumpy. I don't think the setup will work on the sidewalks like this, but we're waiting for a good time to cross and get on the, the bike lane on the main road here. Oh, this is new. We got a new Karage restaurant. Always new restaurants popping up. There's my old university bus. They're always running the loop here. All right, so what do you guys think of the neck mount? We switched to handheld for right now just to get a few shots here in the safe neighborhood. 
Obviously this is too dangerous to do most of the time in, in lots of roads, but if you have the opportunity to do a handheld shot, I think you can get some really cool angles because so you have free control. You can get every angle. But yeah, this camera is really lightweight, really easy to use, really easy to operate. I turned off the tilt lock again, so it'll go exactly where I point it to. If I want it to go down, it'll go down. And if I want it to go up, it'll go up. So it's hard for me to comment right now until we check this out on the computer later, but so far, I'm really liking this camera. Really excited to see how the footage turns out and let us know in the comments what you guys think. What was your favorite shot? What was your favorite angle? I think we're gonna finish up this video here. I'll pop up a few tests from some of our night walk section as well so you can see some night footage, but we're gonna make a full dedicated video for the night walking. So you can check that out later. But this video is starting to get a little bit long here, so we're gonna finish up this one here. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want us to test out some more angles with this camera, let us know down in the comments what you'd like to see. And we're really excited to continue testing this camera out. Thanks as always for watching guys, and we'll see you next time here on Tubal Cruise. Bye -bye.